Hey guys, you probably saw the video about the 2245 light that we picked up, the Ruger. Uh, we got this specifically uh, because we were having a squirrel problem. One of our neighbors over here uh, logged or had 60 acres of theirs logged and they logged it from the far side toward us. So we walked out of the house one day and there were squirrels all over the place in the front yard, the front porch, climbing on the roof. And suddenly we had kind of a squirrel problem. Uh, we managed to take out, uh, well, it really wasn't squirrel hunting, it was just squirrel killing. Um, believe in conservation, preservation of wildlife, management, so on and so forth. Uh, if you're one of those people that don't believe you should ever kill anything for any reason, you can go ahead and click away now. Um, I, I do believe you should be responsible in what you're doing. And the issue that we had, the squirrels had just overrun us. Uh, and we needed to get something that while we were walking, when we saw one, we could get them, and that's what we got this uh, gun for. And as a result, I needed a holster for it. And we couldn't find a holster specifically made for the Ruger 2245 Lite. So we went to our local gun shop here. I figured I would get a leather holster. I'd find something, and I like paddle holsters because you can take them off real quick, put them on real quick, and go out. I figured we would get something, but I was really surprised when we got in and started looking. We found this Uncle Mike's uh, Law Enforcement. It's a Open Top Kydex paddle holster, and this one says it fits the HK USB full size. This is the size 30, part number 5430-1 if you happen to be looking for a holster for your 2245 light. We picked this one up. I wanted to be able to leave the red dot side on it and everything. And it fits like it was made for it. I, I don't think without actually making a holster for this gun, you could get a better fit. We tensioned it down a little bit. It does retain it reasonably well. You, know, you can shake it and knock it out, but it retains it reasonably well. Certainly enough for a walk uh, going up and down hills. It misses. The, the cutout misses the red dot and what really surprised me one thing I was worried about is you've got a, a huge magazine uh, not magazine release but a slide release on here at the top and this holster just happens to have a notch there that fits it perfectly so I, I don't think it protects the covers the trigger I don't think we could do better. I, I don't even know if you made one specifically for the gun, if you would do much better than this. But I was really happy to find it. And the information, the details will be in the description so that you can pick up your own if that's what you're looking for. But um, I was thrilled to find it. And the holster's done real well. It stays on the pants line very well, doesn't fall out. And if you're walking out the door, about to go for a walk, you want to grab it and put it on your belt, you can do that in a hurry and go for a walk.